Oh, this should be cool. Spin jump tile title placeholder. Fake title hack. Copy left. Spin jump team. Not QLDC, but CLDC. Of course. All those things. Every contest is QLDC. I hope jump two or jump one fourth happen eventually. Also, I'm the only one in the team. That's a little odd. That's an odd statement, but okay. Easy max lives. Okay, let's max our lives. Let's lives max. Oh, game overs are bad? Well, here's the most OP moon of all time. Why not? Mu and also mushroom, because why not? Hardcore mode. Just don't use this level. Lol. Pff, that was a pretty awesome moon. Shifting in Rex. Okay. Alright, so what's the interesting gimmick here? There's a door, I must try it. It's a retry pipe. Oh god! What? Okay, well apparently it sh the Rex shifts you quite a bit. If it's a green Rex. You know, I already knew that was going to happen. There's an interesting gimmick going on here. Okay. Okay, green shifts you right, red shifts you left. Simple enough. Point of re reset. Pipes with fences are reset pipes. Don't get lazy. Collect those dragon coins. Okay. Oh. Interesting. I initially thought these would mostly be used as obstacles, but nope. They're using these as something different, and that's kind of cool. Can I destroy them? Yes, they are destructible. Destructible. Interesting. I don't think I can get up there. I don't know why I stood there. Okay, there we go. That's how you're supposed to do that part, I guess. I'm, I'm gonna just wait. I'm, I'm gonna just wait. Okay. The green ones shift you right, so I bop in there. That's not an on block. This is a confusing morass of stuff. Oh, I can get the dragon coin if I let the, the green one fall, but he's not gonna fall now because he's. Yeah, okay. I learned something. Nifty. Okay, I'm not certain I wanted to do that, but I guess that is a thing that happened. Oh, it's a reset pipe. Got it. Okay. I don't know why I decided to try that. It was completely irrelevant. Oh. Wait, what? Interesting. I did that much. That mantra came out of hitting the block, and it stuck around, which is interesting. I think that's how it worked. Such a simple effect. I'm trying to figure out the song, we only recognize one part. And you don't know where it's from. Potentially PMD. 
TMD? I'm not sure. You mean uh, in this sec, in the main section or the earlier section? The earlier section is uh, Sonic music. I forget what level, but I think it's Sonic 2. No, it's Hydrocity from Sonic 3. What am I doing? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Very possible. I don't recognize it. It's got a little bit of a uh, battle theme going on. Or I could have just not hit the Rex at all. Monster House theme for PMD. Something mixed in too. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, like I said, I, I didn't play much of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. I think I played one of them enough to know what Pokemon I was supposed to be. I did the quiz, and I got Mudkip, and I was happy about that. But I might have been aiming for Mudkip, and intentionally steer my questions towards Mud answers towards Mudkip, so it might not really count. The fake Mudkip. Okay, so we got that part down. I think I understand. Okay, so... Yeah, it was caused by the on-off block. There we go. Not gonna be lazy. I'm gonna at least try to collect dragon coins. Yep, there we go. Got that one. Okay, that... Pipe there is not helpful. I do need to hit the on-off switch. But I'm not really sure... ...why there's a reset pipe there. All right, he's gonna move me to the right. Cool! Complete accident! It's a midway. Is down here? Nope, there's not. Altered about Monster Houses is, when you hear its song, you were in for a beating and you would hurt a lot. I bet. At least I'm go burr. Yeah, I know. But Mudkips have so many other nifty advantages. It's hard not to like the typing of water ground. I think I, oh goodness, I just under, re understood what this is about. Oh, that is cute. They're half and half. Probably should have done that, because moons are awesome. Consider this plant type with ancient power. I don't even know what ancient power does. Alright, I want to go right. Okay, well so far so good. And AoE. I don't know how the first game handled it, but agility in the first game was something. I always forget if agility raised um, your stat or if it was just an attack. Well, that sucked. Oh, ancient power is a chance to increase all your stats, including that one. In speed, which means you can act per turn. Oh, you're talking about in Mystery Dungeon. Yeah, no, I was I was thinking regular Pokemon, and I'm like, agility is not, or ancient power. That sounds way overpowered being able to do more than one thing per turn in regular old Pokemon. Nice try. I saw that one coming. Agility allows you to use, uh, move more, attack multiple times. It's awful. That does sound overpowered in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Okay, this level I was kind of cold on, but you know what? These setups are actually pretty awesome. I think having to do the tutorial section multiple times put me off a bit, and the aesthetics are very QLDC. That being said, though, this is still pretty awesome. Okay. Oh... Huh. I don't think I had a choice. 
try to find a new way around the goal for a cool spot. I do like cool spots. Oh. I see. Because Greeny will poke, poke me past it. Or I'm a moron! Bosses have like 1k to 3k HP. Boss weren't the issue. Let's get into enemies who spam agility. Oh, I could see that. Especially in monster houses, yeah. Now the only mystery dungeon game I ever played enough of to have an actual opinion is uh, Chocobo's Mysterious Dungeon. Which I think was, in, was made by the same group of people, or the same company. Spin jumps. Like, I'm mildly annoyed at myself for getting hit by that, but I also don't really mind. Like, this is still kind of cool. Right. It's always neutral. And then go for it. There we go. Chunsoft's behind Mystery Dungeon Chocobo as well. Can I do this? I can, in fact, do that. That worked. Spin jumping solved that problem. It was a really early jump. Okay, I really want to keep my power up so I can get past for the cool secret area. Wait, what? Oh, there was a mush. <laughs> Explorers of Time, it's the cornerstone of the franchise. Interesting. The rules of this are weird. Oh, I understand now. Because it was a... Okay. So this is interesting. It's because it was a combination critter, and that's why it happened. So if I were to spin jump on these combo critters, I'd end up roughly where I left off. I'm not going to. But that's what would happen. Very interesting. Of SC14 has deep dungeons that are quite similar. That is true. Oh, wait, what? Oh, they go to the same place. Okay, so here's why this worked. Because if you hit both sides at once, it cancels the sides out. There we go. Secret area. It's a lot of gay moons. And that's okay. All right. Well, we got them all in spirit. Yeah, that was fun. Cute secret, too. Reddits? Don't mind if I do. That's a lot of things. Uh, Lunar Magic, Fusia, Music Porters, Brick Block, Kevin, Gift Shaven, Dispace. Mario and Sprite. Only block GFX by Iso... Isocitri... Isocitration and Coopster. ASAR, too much peoples. Way too much peoples. GPS and Pixie by people who make those. Shifting Rexes. Me, my first custom sprite. That's cool. Based upon the Rexes disassembly, that makes sense. Packages, horizontal scroll fix by Kevin. That's a good call in this kind of game. This kind of level. Line Guide Fix by Emelian World Peace, and Optimize 1F0 by Fernap. That's actually important in my understanding. Apparently the 1F0 that comes with the game is actually pretty lousy in some bizarre way. Double Spin Jump Anti-Fail 
by Alcaro. What a great patch. So we've narrowed it down musically to these four people, but they've ported a lot of music, so it might not help. 